welcome to this video in the Facebook Ads Masterclass. In the last video, we took a slight detour to explain the difference between campaign and ad set budget optimization. In today's video, we're going to create our very first ad. Go to your Facebook Ad Manager, and in the top left, click on Create. This will show a window like you see here. If you don't get this window, you need to switch from Quick Creation to Guided Creation. You should see an option in the top right to do so. While we're testing, we're going to be using campaign budget optimization for our budget strategy. I typically use $30 to start testing a new product in Creative. This $30 will be spent dynamically amongst all ad sets inside the campaign, weighted to the ones that have the highest performing KPIs. For campaign bid strategy, choose lowest cost. Once you get a little more advanced, you can do one of the other options, but to start with, go with the lowest cost, highest value. At this point, if you have a brand new account, it will ask you to set up your ad account. I am in the US, in the East Coast time zone, that's all you need to do. At the top here, you'll see it says conversions. That's because we set up a conversions campaign, and it looks like we forgot to set up our pixel. So we'll just go back and do that real quick. Go to your business settings, data sources, pixels, select the slouch buster pixel, go to connected assets, add asset, click on the slouch buster ad account, and click add. Done. Then, under the Slouch Buster ad account, you'll see the proper pixel. Let's navigate back to our ad creation and get started. In the pixel section, always select Purchase as your event. It doesn't matter if the circle next to it is green, red, gray, or some other strange color. Just select Purchase and everything will be fine. Whenever a conversion campaign is chosen, it will optimize for whatever conversion event you select. So if you select Add to Cart, Facebook will optimize delivery for the conversion event of Adding to Cart. We won't be using Dynamic Creative here, we're going to create our first ads together. Dynamic Creative is essentially you putting in all the video, images, headlines, text, and so on. Then Facebook will put together and deliver them all and find the best ad. We're going to start with just one for now. I do believe that variety is incredibly important while testing and you should have at least three texts, three videos or images, and three headlines, but we'll be doing that at a later time. We're going to leave offers blank. We aren't offering anything through Facebook, but we can always add a coupon code in our text if we really wanted to. Custom audience. We don't have one yet, so we're going to move on. We will go over how to create this in another video. Locations. You can go with whatever you want here. I typically start with the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. Those are the top five by volume and sales for e-commerce. They're a little bit higher in competition, so it is a little more expensive, but that isn't a bad thing. It isn't about getting the cheapest clicks, it's about getting the cheapest conversions. Sometimes you could target a country and get five cents per click and get no sales on $100 of ad spend. That doesn't make the country better, it just makes the clicks cheaper. You can add countries by region, or you can add entire regions if you'd like. You just click this button here. Personally, I like to add countries in bulk. You just click this link and start typing your heart out. Put a comma at the end of each country, and when you're done, click done, and it will find the countries and add them in. If you're targeting a whole list of countries, like ePacket countries, just create the list in a Word document and you can just copy and paste that list every time. If your ad copy and your website are in English, it is vastly important to select English All. Don't waste your money on audiences who aren't going to convert because they can't understand your website or ad. Lastly, we want people who are living in this location. For age, I like to go after 25 plus. It just happens to be one of the more higher converting age ranges. 24 and younger are still trying to figure everything out in life. They typically have less expendable income. That doesn't mean that you should discount them as an audience. Just don't expect much from them. Definitely worth incorporating them in a test when you know you have a winner or if the product is aimed at them specifically. Under detail targeting, always uncheck expand your detail targeting. This is telling Facebook, disregard what I have done here and go find people you think are likely to buy this offer. On to interest selection. Don't overthink this. In setting up the website, we would create a list of keywords relevant to, for this product, posture and back pain. We just start putting those headwords in here and hit suggest. If I have a lot of options, I try to get three interests three personalities or celebrities, and three magazines with one random interest. So here, I type in back pain. This audience only has 23,000 people. I won't say this isn't a valuable audience, 
but the scope of scaling is limited on it because it's so small. It might be valuable and you might get some great conversions in it, but you won't see a huge opportunity to make big money here. Contrast that to poor posture, which also relates to what we're selling, which has 5 million people. I will pick poor posture and go through the suggestions. For this video, I'm only adding five interests for the sake of time. I almost always start with 10. On to the next section, leave automatic placements on. We want to cast a broad net here and then narrow down when we see what is and is not profitable. I'll be making an entire video that tells you how to narrow down your targeting to increase your profits. Last section before we make our ad, the conversion window. The conversion window is just the amount of time that Facebook will count a conversion from this ad set. It's purely for how far out someone can be from seeing the ad and making a purchase on your website. For me, I select conversion window 7 day click, 1 day view. Now we're ready to go into the ad creation section. Typically, I'll go with the middle option, a single image or video. I upload high quality creative from my computer under the media section. Primary text is the text that will show up with your image or video, what we would consider our post text if we were seeing this in our timeline. Headline is going to be the text that appears in a small box, bolded, under our image or video, aligned to the left hand side. Description will be text under our headline. Destination URL is the website you will send your potential customers when they interact with your call to action button or post. Lastly, the call to action. The call to action is a button to the right of your headline and description text. Make sure that the button matches what you want your prospect to do. Don't put call now if you want them to shop on the website. Don't put shop now if you're looking for them to call. That's all for this video. We went over the ad creation process and in the next video we'll go over the elements of a high converting advertisement and how you can create it with minimal effort using my template. If this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more daily advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping training. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.